So, it is Tuesday the 23rd. Just kidding. It's Wednesday the 24th. Um, it has been two weeks since my surgery. And um, things have not really gone as well as planned. Um, last Tuesday, the day before I was supposed to get my splints taken out, um, just sitting in bed, my nose started gushing blood. So, um, I had to call the EMT on call. He told me I had to go to the doctor at the ER. So, um, trying to like, you know, plug my nose was really hard because the splints were inside and I've never had a bloody nose before. So it was even more difficult. So we get to the ER, it's about 11 o'clock at night. And we pretty much just sat there until 3.30, waiting for the bleeding to stop. Um, they made a little clothespin type thing out of tongue depressors to pinch the end of my nose. And then they would have me um, inhale some Afrin and drink really cold water to help with the, with the bleeding. So once that stopped, um, I think we got home at like 3.30. Um... I went to bed and then got up that morning and Adam came with me to get my splints taken out and that was fun. Um, it felt really weird and awkward, um, felt nice to come out, but then the, the doctor noticed that my right side was still bleeding so she had to pack it with this really small tampon and it was super tight, hurt so bad, very uncomfortable. Um, so I got that and then, so that was on a Wednesday. So then they wanted me out of work even longer. Um, so I went to work on Friday and had the splint taken out, uh, sorry, had the packing taken out and everything seemed fine. Um, Saturday night when I was out with mom and Bree, we were at Friendly's and I went to the bathroom and then I noticed my nose was bleeding. It was mostly my right side, so I pinched it, held it for a good, you know, half hour, 45 minutes, and it stopped. I uh, got back to Bree's and noticed it started again, but this time it was both sides and it was gushing again to the point where I couldn't even change tissues in time before it would bleed everywhere. So I pinched my nose and after about an hour, hour and a half, um, we decided to go to Walmart so I could get some Afrin. Tried that, didn't work. Called the doctor on call again. He was really nice. And um, he had me soak cotton balls in Afrin and put them up there to help the Afrin actually soak in better. So I did that a couple times and it seemed to work. Um, but I did call the doctor Monday morning to let them know and she wanted to see me right away. So I went in yesterday and she checked everything. Everything seemed fine. Um, the one thing that she noticed was my last turbinate on my right side was a little crusty and mucusy, so she's assuming that that's where the bleeding was coming from um, on Saturday night. So now I'm good to go to work on Sunday as long as I don't have another nosebleed. Um, she wants a good week in between the nosebleed and me starting work again, um, so it doesn't happen again. But I'm still, you know, required not to really bend over much, kind of lay, lay flat but elevated um just caution with my face my nose itself feels great um it's weird because i mean i don't know if you can even look up it but i mean it's completely like hollowed out they like shaved down all my turbinates most of my hair is gone in there but i can breathe great even when she was putting the scope up, I could feel a total difference. Um, you know, it was un uncomfortable, but on my right side, it wasn't painful like before. 
um, you could actually feel it go up and in like normal, which was great. Um, I haven't had any kind of sinus headaches or anything since the surgery. I have not taken any ibuprofen, Sudafed, or Allegra since, you know, probably like the 8th or 9th of this month. Um, ibuprofen actually earlier than that. Um, yesterday at the doctor, she did give me the option that if I felt like it, I could go in today and have into the OR and have her cauterize the last turbinate just as a precaution. But we decided that um, I didn't want to have to go back into the OR, so I would wait. And if it started bleeding again, then we would, you know, revisit that option. Um, so my nose feels great. It's really sensitive. Um, like when you touch it, it's like almost bruised wise, but it's very sensitive. Um, the top roof of my mouth is still pretty numb and the front two teeth are kind of numb and um, have a lot of pressure which I guess is expected. Uh, I did go see Dr. Dagnall today, tell him about my problems with the bruising and the, the bleeding, how I haven't been healing, and I bruise super easy and they stay forever. So he did send me over for a blood test, which Eric came with me, thank God, and held my hand. Um, got blood work done and I should get it back tomorrow and we'll see how that goes. Um, everything right now, it seems like I could be anemic. Um, anemia would, would definitely hinder my healing and, um, my d dizziness, the ringing in my ear, random things like that. Um, so we'll see if I'm anemic or I have any other kind of problems, um, tomorrow. So that's it for today. I'm just laying in bed right now because I did take two Klonopin, Klonazepam or whatever they are, um, before the blood work and I survived. So that's about it. So we will see how it's going later.